Chuan Do Tan is a 58-year-old man from Singapore who looks like he's in his 30s. So this guy has become quite popular over the past few years and every year he has a birthday, you know, he kind of surfaces back to the media because of people are surprised how youthful he looks for someone who is in his, you know, 56, 57, 58 years old. I also did a Twitter post about him. I went through his like routines and it went actually pretty viral. It got up to 17 million views in uh, one day, which is, you know, massive. And it's a pretty uh, viral post. So I'm in this video, I'm going to go through the routine I discussed in the Twitter post. And I'm also going to read some of the funny comments people left on the Twitter post. It's showtime. So first off, Truando was born in 1966. He's been like a model pretty much his entire life. And he also does some photography. He also has an Instagram profile with uh, over 1.4 million followers. First, he obviously has great genetics. You know, there's no denying that. Genetics does have a pretty big effect on how you age in terms of your aesthetics and visual side. It can also affect like your biological speed of aging. Uh, step one, be Asian. <laughs> uh, he's Asian. I know 70 year old Asians that look 40. It's no big deal. Breakdown of his genes too. Spoiler, it's genetics. Is bro walking out of the ocean with a giant fish? Yes, uh, that photo was from a photo shoot, I would uh, suggest. Of course, it's not the only reason he looks so youthful in his 50s. It's also because of having followed a pretty healthy and, you know, more like a fitness-oriented lifestyle pretty much his entire life. When you look at the before and after photos of him, then even when he was like in his 20s, he was very fit and lean already back then. And second of all, of course, he has, you know, become older <laughs> compared to when he was 20 years old. It's just that the decline hasn't been as rapid as for the average person and he has quote-unquote aged slower over the course of the you know few three decades or something. And lastly we can't exclude the possibility of some like aesthetic treatments or plastic surgery or something like that. I'm not like an expert on plastic surgery and these aesthetic treatments. He has said that he dyes his hair so he has a little bit of gray hair so he just dyes them darker and he said in an interview that he has injected Botox once but he hasn't done it ever since then and he doesn't have any like other skincare treatments or anything like that so you know I'm not an expert on that I can't comment on that but he doesn't look like someone who has done like massive amounts of surgery of course he might have had a few fixes here and there but it's also just of course the hairstyle the glasses and uh, just being leaner on the face having lower body fat and those kind of things that uh, make him look uh, more younger and, you know, combine that with the genetics, then you're going to, you know, get someone like, uh, who looks like that. Chuando has been following a very healthy and fit lifestyle all his life. He exercises three to five times a week for about 90 minutes each. Mostly he does weights, but he also does swimming for cardio and speed walking. Now let's talk about steroids. Does he use any performance enhancing drugs, any testosterone, TRT, any growth hormone, something like that. In my own personal opinion, I think his physique is achievable naturally. So if you're someone in their 20s or even 30s, then his physique is very achievable naturally. Like he's not very big in terms of mass. Like he, he looks pretty jacked, but that's because of the low body fat percentage. So uh, based on the data I found online, he's like 175 pounds which is, you know, about 80 kilograms. He's also pretty tall, so he's like six foot one, something like that, which is in like 180 centimeters or something like that. So he's tall, kind of a skinnier and a lean. So that kind of creates this illusion that he has a bunch of mess. But, uh, you know, by the standards of actual bodybuilders, he doesn't have like obviously a ton of muscle. So that kind of just creates this illusion. He's of course still in the like 0.1% of people in terms of uh, the uh, aesthetics of the physique and uh, the muscularity of the physique, that is achievable naturally for someone in their 20s and 30s. What about if you're in your 50s? Well, if you look at the progression of his physique, then even when he was 20 years old, he already had a pretty uh, decent physique already, like in the 1% of uh, athleticism and like muscularity in his 20s and 30s. It's not out of the realm of possibility that he has maintained it just over the course of the next two decades. To maintain that physicality, then he might, you know, do some TRT. I haven't actually found any questions online of him answering that question so you know he might actually you know acknowledge that he is doing it it's just no one has asked him that but yeah you know maybe trt is enough to maintain it he's obviously not doing massive amounts of gear because yeah he's not that bulky i don't think he's that strong he doesn't at least based on the gym workouts that i've seen he's not like very strong either he just maintains consistency maintains a leaner 
body composition and lower body fat percentage. But at minimum, I do think that TRT is on the table for his age. You know, if he were to be 20 years old, 30 years old, then that would be achievable naturally, in my opinion. But uh, given that he's, you know, in his late 50s, he probably, you know, does some TRT. I don't think he's doing growth hormone uh, because, you know, with growth hormone and stuff like that, if you're doing large amounts of gear, then you're going to lose some of the baby face as well. So it doesn't look like he has a lot of this facial growth like a lot of the steroid users have like they have like massive potato heads because they're taking so much growth hormone and so much uh testosterone but uh because his face looks still pretty youthful i don't think he does you know anything more than uh, regular trt in my opinion tldr eat clean and balanced exercise daily in different styles reduce stress in your life do light doses of test and HGH for the rest of your life. The rest is genes. Interestingly, Brian Johnson also retweeted this, I'm happy for Chuando. I'm happy for Chuando. <laughs> it's this uh, kind of seething uh, face. Uh, Agents don't really age. We just stop working out. Uh, there's something profoundly sad to me about a man or any human whose primary accomplishment in the eyes of the world is, wow, he looks really young for his age. I'd be curious to poll if men would rather look like him at 58 or have a family or good career as an artist, etc. Well, I mean... He is a model and a photographer, so that is, is his career. So um, people recognize he's most famous for his looks because it's a very deviant way to look at 58 years of age. So that's why he gets the attention. Like, of course, even if you had a family, uh, let's say people wouldn't focus on the family because virtually every person in the world has a family family like you know 90 percent of people have a family and children <laughs> that's how the world works so it's 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 just not going to get the attention on social media so what's his diet like he follows a more traditional higher protein fitness diet his breakfast is four whole eggs and two egg whites with some avocados the other foods he eats are chicken, fish, rice, vegetables, water. He doesn't smoke, doesn't drink alcohol, and he doesn't drink coffee or tea. He does admit that sometimes he indulges on ice cream. So that's a very, you know, traditional fitness uh, meal plan. High protein, low fat, and, you know, even moderate amounts of carbs. So to maintain such lean physique, then he needs to be obviously be in a lower calorie intake and slightly higher protein as well to maintain the muscle mass and to also make it easier to stay that lean. Uh, about time, we sh all should look like this at 60, even 80 eventually. I think it's happening more and more. You know, I think that is true. Like, if you look at old films, even from the 60s or 70s, then people looked a lot older. I guess it's the hairstyles, it's the dressing uh, and the co those kind of things. All right, that's it for this video. If you want to check out the 70-year-old Polish guy who's like a ninja athlete, then check out this video. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.